three entering tonight. Becker's nice cut to free herself for two. It's a 20-point evening for the freshman Beckers. First assist since the first quarter, Rod? Right? That's right. Carrington, the pirouette, couldn't finish. Williams, the rebound. Here comes UConn. Westbrook. Williams, open, a three is good. A big one for UConn. As Richards continues to be stretched out on the Baylor sideline. The freshman Sarah Andrews in for it, has her pass stolen. Becker's a three, you bet! And you could see Kim Mulkey turning back to the bench to check on the status of Dee Dee Richards. This UConn run has come since she's left the game. An 8-0 run. It's not moving well. Williams, bodies in, gets the whistle against Egbo. Third foul against Queen Egbo. And free throws here for Kristen Williams. Connecticut not been good at the line today. Only six for 10. Kristen Williams on the season, 69%. Williams hits the first. And one of the things we saw at the end of that third quarter was Baylor start to turn it over a little bit when Richards went out of the game. That was Kim Mulkey's key. That we will win if we take care of the basketball. They have all night, but didn't at the end of the third. Had four turnovers in the last couple minutes of it, and UConn now on an extended 10-0 run has tied it. And extending their pressure after the free throw. Fifth tie of the game, we've had three lead changes. Smith. Dishes it back out. Carrington. Bodies in, and that's gonna be a charge as Carrington lowered her shoulder into Griffin. But I like that she's looking to be aggressive because she's had so much success doing that in this game. Yes, Griffin is there to take the charge. Tied at 55, a trip to the Final Four is on the line tonight. Beckers doesn't get the roll. Edwards the offensive rebound, and UConn is back in front. A 12-0 Huskies run. Egbo can't answer. Loose ball, snared by Westbrook. I liked how the last set ended, though, for Connecticut with an on-ball screen for Paige Beckers. Beckers, the leaner, rolls in! 25 for Beckers! Carrington doesn't have the answer. Knocked out of bounds. Looked like it had lasted Williams. Urson thought so as well but it's gonna be UConn basketball. There's a reason Paige Beckers is a favorite for National Player of the Year. She can get to the spot she wants to get to. She can get her shot off against great defenders. She is not afraid of the moment. A 14-0 run for UConn. Looked like Moon Urson had a real argument that that had last hit Williams and not her. Here's Beckers, another three. You bet! Paige Beckers is feeling it! A 17-0 UConn run. Bickle into the game for Baylor. Harrington, and that's gonna be another charge! Aubrey Griffin came in the game this second half when Olivia Nelson Adota went out. What an impact Griffin has made these last two possessions on the defensive end. Nelson Adota went out because she couldn't take a charge and got the foul. Griffin here taking them. 
A 17-0 UConn run over the last five minutes. Williams adding to it. I'd take a timeout if I was Kim Mulkey. Settle the troops. And another turnover. No. Last hit UConn. It's going to stay in with Baylor. Richards on the bench now. Andrews in for Baylor. A freshman with pure ice in her veins. We've said it all season long.